it wasn't a rap thing with uh, King Cypher either. We would always be at my building, like standing in front of the building. You, you know, I'd be building with King Cypher, we'd be building and everything. I touched the scenery with something that seemed to be scripted so easily. Tell you what it mean to me. There was some deceit in me, unbelievably. No, King Cypher, that's, like, that's, that's more of the 90s, because I was, I was in Job Corps. I had got, you know, without getting sidetracked, I got taken out of high school, sent to Job Corps, and then got kicked out of Job Corps, and was back, you know, rested with mom. So that was around, yeah, around 90 or so like that, 90, 91. You know what I mean? With the whole night school and King King Cypher, you know, he was he was orange at the time. <laughs> Y'all know, those who know him know him. He was orange because he always wore orange. So that was his nickname, orange. Peace and blessings. My name is Tykeela. Um, I'm here today because uh, Shabazz Born Allah reached out and asked me to uh, participate in this documentary, and I am honored. However, uh, to keep things as briefly brief as I can, um, I choose to share this. Shabazz and I uh, attended the same night school as well as a program called Job Corps. And uh, it was in that period when enlightenment began for me. Uh, Shabazz was my first enlightener. And um, in the mornings, him and I would, you know, meet up to walk to Job Corps. And when we would meet, he would uh, always present a piece of fruit or vegetables. And um, as we continued our travels, we would, you know, build on the beneficial factors of the food for the mind and the body, you know, and that's, you know, where healthy eating um, sparked within me. And uh, nutritional education continues to excite me to this day. And healthy eating, you know, continues to be a way of life for me. So, you know, it starts somewhere. And um, that's where it began for me. So uh, I just want to say to you, Shabazz, continue doing what you're doing. And peace. The way that the, the music thing actually came about, because, like I said, I didn't know that King Cypher rhymed. I don't even think that he knew I rhymed. I knew that King Universal rhymed. Them two didn't know each other. And what had happened, me and Quamel, yeah, we went to the mall, CB Square Mall. I don't even think the mall is there anymore. And I seen my cousin, Fanique. And Fanique was a producer. He made beats. And he asked me if I was still rhyming. I don't even think I knew if, if Quamel rhymed at the time. But he asked me if I was still rhyming. And I'm like, yeah, I'm still rhyming. You know, he had heard me rhyme at a party or whatever. So he's like, come by the house and I got, I got, you know, um, beats and, 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 and equipment and stuff. So me and Quamel agreed to come over there to go check out um, uh, Phoenix Beats, you know what I'm saying? And possibly do a song or something. It wasn't like that we had a plan. We gonna go over there and be a group and all this stuff is gonna happen. That's not how it happened. So me and uh, Quamel, we was headed over to Phoenix's house later that day. And when we get there, King Cypher was there. He was orange at the time, though. King Cypher was there. And I think he was about to record his own song. This is, you know what I mean? This is kind of how it blossomed into what it would be. So, uh, Fanique puts the beat on. And I can't remember if Quamel went first or I went first. But I know we was the, the two first people to rhyme. And then the third verse came and, like, King Cypher jumped off the wall and started started rhyming we looked at him like you rhyme like we ain't even like not like you rhyme you can't rhyme not like that but like we didn't know you rhyme you understand what i'm saying because like i said beirut wasn't the type of spot that was churning out rappers you know what i mean and then Vanique went and we was like yo that was hot play the beat again and then we played it again and we actually recorded the song and we didn't have a name for the song i don't even think we had a hook for the song it was just verse after verse after verse after verse but it was hot, you know what I mean? So what we did, we, we actually named the song Versatile because all four of our styles was different. So it was like, at that point, we decided, wow, we're pretty good at this. Let's do another song. <laughs> and somewhere along the line, we, we, we started calling ourselves the God Squad. We was at night school and we both stood out. Like this dude, King Cypher, he'd be in the night school ordering pizza. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, I would be like in the, 
there's the classroom and then there's another room over there and that's the teachers supposed to be the teachers section of the classroom like his little personal office and i would be in there on the phone feet kicked up on the desk you know what i'm saying talking to my then at the time my my, uh, my daughter's mother you know what i'm saying to we be black old we be black old catching tune isn't it this was one of the songs that was written by the group called Black Oath. It had a couple of members in it. I'm not sure the correct amount, but I can name two of them. Earth Ice is my shell and Shabazz Bonawa. And it was the early 90s. And they were a um, nation of Islam group, very powerful members, brothers. And also, they had a performance at the Saturn. Lords of the Underground came and they did their first performance. And Earth Ice is My Shell was in it. Islam stimulated this intelligent sister. And now I see his everlasting light. Peace. We be something that seemed to be scripted so easily. Tell you what it mean to me. There was some deceit in me. Unbelievably, they became a bitter and cold set in scenery. Clean machinery, red dot delivery, killer mentality. Y'all wasn't believing me. Perfect aim, memory, not so much. But shit, when the danger put my foot in the clutch. Cause a black qualified to get splattered by cops. Cause they want what I got in my socks. Enough to get me put in the box. Hold up, you do a 4 4 40, but it's using the clock.